championships. And in Class D2, it's the Greeley Wallback Titans taking on the Clay Center Wildcats. Hello again, everybody. I'm Larry Putney, along with former Husker Kathy Wieskamp. Good to have you with us as we get set for Class D2 championship action. Clay Center comes in at 31 and 2. Greeley Wallback at 32 and 1. And let's start with Clay Center because they have an outstanding senior in Abby Sorensen. Abby Sorensen is a phenomenal athlete. She's out on the court, does a lot of things. She gets a lot of swings at the ball, but she delivers. She's also a great defensive player in the back row, so she's really a very complete player. Does a lot for this Clay Center squad. I mentioned she's a senior on the other side of thanks Greeley Wallback as a freshman who's doing some outstanding outstanding things for them and Skylar Erickson. Skylar Erickson was key in yesterday's match. She in the semifinal she had 21 kills. She comes in she does a lot on the outside. She's very assertive and aggressive out on the court. You're going to like watching her play and again just a freshman. Let's take a look and find out where these teams are from. You see Greeley Wallback there right in the heart of the state Clay Center in that south central part 32 and 1 and 31 and 2 overall how'd they get here to the state championship match well we checked the bracket and you see the clay center knocked off mullen in the first round and chambers in the second really wallback had a tough road to get here in the semifinals a 3-2 win over wallace so 3-2 win great really wallback time now for the introductions let's go down to steve lemon our public address announcer Welcome to the 2009 NSAA Volleyball Championships. The Class D2 final matches the Greeley Wolbach Titans and the Clay Center Lady Cats. Now it's time to meet the teams. First, the Titans of Greeley Wolbach. Number one, Darian Erickson. Number two, Chassie Andrasek. Number three, Jamie Nikolai. Number zero, Hannah Smith. Number five, Ashley Dugan. Number six, Katrina Andrasek. Number seven, Skylar Erickson. Number eight, Kim Wood. Number nine, Krista Kolar. Number 10, Emily Majerus. Number 11, Shelby Rother. Number 12, Megan Strump. Number 13, Caitlin Andrasek. And number 14, Mackenzie Cockerell. The assistant coaches are Julia House and Emily Donovan. The head coach of the Titans is Todd Beck. Here are the Clay Center Lady Cats. Number one, Brooke Yates. Number two, Mary Cooney. Number three, Danielle Sock. Number four, Dylan Woodbury. Number five, Jill Boxa. Number six, Bethany Von Spreckelson. Number seven, Sierra Tompkins. Number eight, Ravon Hudson. Number nine, Jamie Boxa. Number 10, Abigail Sorensen. Number 12, Kylie Essing. Number 13, Brittany Bike. Number 14, Vanessa Ponder. And number 23, Brianna Bailey. The assistant coaches are Crystal Hosenstab and Deb Schmoll. The head coach for the Lady Cats is Julie Studnicka. Julie's excited. She wants to get going. I think she wants to suit up. <laughs> She's a competitor. Ready She'd to love to, I'm sure. <laughs> Clay Center yes. taking on Grilly Wallback for the Class D2 State Championship. Let's go down courtside with Rachel Schwartz. This will be, in my opinion, one of the most fun games to watch because these girls from come from some of the smallest schools in Nebraska and we get to watch their dreams come true on the court tonight. So Clay Center the Wildcats and Greeley Wallback the Titans get set to battle for the D2 state championship and it's all coming up next on NET Sports. Programming provided by Nebraska Public Power District. My job with Nebraska Public Power District 
takes me to new heights, offers me challenging experiences. Like me, the utility cares about Nebraska. I go home at night knowing that what I do makes a difference. To put it simply, I am where I want to be. Nebraska Public Power District, always there when you need us. Together with your local public power utility. Programming on NET television is made possible in part by U.S. Bank, fulfilling their commitment to serve customers wherever they are on their terms, providing a full range of banking services at 57 branch offices and more than 100 ATMs located conveniently across Nebraska. Wherever you go, seven days a week, 24 hours a day, you'll find us. Join the Sports Partners Club because sports partners like you make NET Sports Action possible. Along with my partner Adrian Fiala, I'm Kevin Kugler, inviting you to join us for Big Red Wrap Up. Kevin will recap the Kansas Nebraska game with sports writer Husker historian Mike Babcock. Join us next Tuesday for Big Red Wrap Up right here on NET, Nebraska's home for sports. Nebraska Coliseum, play center, and Gruley Wolbeck for the Class D2 state championship. And we're underway as Sierra Tompkins starts it off with an ace for play center. Sierra Tompkins, a 5'10 senior outside hitter, 45 aces on the season coming into the state tournament. And that one goes into the net. Back to serve for Gruley Wolbeck, Darian Erickson. Erickson, the 5'6 junior setter for Grilly Wolbach for the Titans. Pushed outside. Here's Abby Sorensen. Expect to hear that name a lot this morning. <laughs> Abby Sorensen with a kill. She's really their go to girl. She had 480 kills on the season. She's played very well in the state tournament. When she's in the front row, you definitely know she is up front. Great serve. Three ball for Grilly Wolbach. On the two ball. Kept up. Pushed across by Majerus. Outside Sorensen again. Not much to do with that one. Sorensen again off the top of the block. Dump try. Nice dump. Great job by Darian Erickson, just kind of mixing up, a lot of swinging going on. She takes second ball, just a little flip over. So now Krista Kolar back to serve, the 5'7'' senior outside hitter, second on the team in kills this year. And the ace, so Kolar starts it off with an ace as well. And fighting off those jitters early, that can be a concern. Better pass, tried it on two. Erickson was there. In the middle, Majerus is blocked back and Majerus called into the net. The follow through, she clipped the tape. Majerus is a big, powerful attacker in the middle. She's really done um, a lot for this team this season. She's um, aggressive in the middle and she's really played a contributing part to getting to this championship game. Pushed outside the swing by Skyler Erickson, who we talked about off the top of the point, goes to Clay Center. So back to serve now for Grilly Walbach. Boxer with the serve. Jill Boxer with the dig there. The end of the net. So all even at four. Emily Majerus, 5'9", senior middle. Majerus dominated that last match they had yesterday in the semifinals. 
23 kills, including six in the fifth set. And that was an exciting fifth set. I was fortunate to observe that, and it was an incredible set. Actually, they were down 14-8 in, in um, the fifth set, came back, fought off seven game points, wow. and just took control. I mean, it was, it was crazy. It was fun. It was, um, they earned their way here, definitely. That was a win over Wallace by Greeley Wallbach that put him in to the championship match. In the middle, the freshman with a big swing blocked back. Nice block by Vanessa Ponder, a 5'6 senior. Ponder is up there again. The outside hand was strong enough to win that battle up at the net. Serve into the net by Sorensen. Pushed outside, here's Sierra Tompkin. Wide. Ball pushed a little wide, Tompkin takes it in the pin. She also a very agile player out on the court, just a great coach, says, just an incredible young lady. Jamie Nikolai with the serve. Sorensen got a swing on that one. Tompkin again, pushed back by Majerus. Both teams a bit out of system here. Tried to lift it over, but Shelby Rother a bit out of bounds. Just not great balls to swing at until players are really trying to make something, try and take the ball and do something with it. And that's what creates the air here. And into the net goes the serve of Brianna Bailey. And look at the head coach, Judy Studnicka. Sixth trip to the state tournament for Clay Center. Their second in a row. Boy, there's a big swing and a kill out of the back row by Abby Sorensen. That's her second kill of the match. And they will use her in the back row also and take advantage of her um, powerful swing. So she really stays involved in the offense regardless if she's in the front row or the back row. Back to Rother. And Rother with the kill. Shelby Rother, the sophomore. Nine eight Wildcats. Tried the dump, did Darian Erickson into the net. So the Wildcats now up by two. Back to serve for Clay Center. Senior outside hitter, Sierra Tompkin. Have her listed at 5'10, but it's a pretty big 5'10. She's grown since the, That's right. <laughs> the early part of the season because she's definitely a little looks taller in stature. Side to Sorensen. Good dig. Pushed over by Kolar. Go back to Erickson. Erickson into the net. You notice um, Greeley Wallback runs a 6 2 system, so Erickson is in, the, in when she's in the front row, she gets to be the attacker. They do off serve receive here, have her set as she's in right front, takes a little pressure off the back row setter. To, we're seeing her do a lot of things right here in this rotation. Good serve there by Tompkin, led to the overpass, and Sorensen puts it down. Abby Sorensen's third kill. You know, Sorensen had 27 kills in the semifinal win over Chambers. She has a total of 50 kills in two state tournament matches, which for the season puts her near the Class D2 single season record. So Sorensen comes in needing just 24 kills in this match to take overtake the single season record in Class D2. 13-8 Wildcats on top here in set one. Any 
NET coverage of the NSAA High School Volleyball Championships is brought to you in part by NPPD, Nebraska Public Power District, applauding the dedication, teamwork, and sportsmanship of Nebraska's high school athletes. By the Nebraska Soybean Board, encouraging the use of renewable biodiesel fuels for a healthier environment. For information, nebraskasoybeans.org. And by Time Warner Cable, inspiring young people to build the skills they need in science, technology, engineering, and math to become the problem solvers of tomorrow. Back at the Coliseum, play center on top here early in set number one of the Greeley Wall, back 13-8. Talk more about that phenomenal comeback yesterday by Greeley Wallback when they knocked off Wallace. So they went into the fifth set and they're down 14 to 8. So they're facing at least seven match points. And somehow they managed to stave off every one and then go on to win the match. And, uh, you know, it's one, that's where you take back to your, your school and everybody yeah. takes a lesson from that match that it isn't over till it's over 14. It is not done. You cannot think it isn't. And they just stayed aggressive. And I think that was the key to it. Um, and that was critical for them. They didn't back off. And they just kept feeding into it. Jamie Nikolai with the tip kill there for Greeley Wallbaum. Outside. Block back. No nope, four hits. Four hits called on play center. It went into the tape. Didn't hit a defender. She had a nice line shot there, and I believe Sorensen saw that, just re was ready to take it home. Just gets down a little bit on the ball. Off the top of the tape, kept alive. Push back. Polar with the kill. So the Titans out of the timeout are running some points together. Back to within one, 13-12. Titans really use a diversified offense. They really try to get a lot of people involved. They run a 6-2 system. That means there's always three big hitters in the front row and the setter sets from the back row. So they always have big swingers up at the net, making it easier for them to be more successful. Not a bad way to answer there with Abby Sorensen already her fourth kill halfway through set number one. Dig. Pushed outside, Nikolai with the tip try again. Not there. Block back. No, nope, block down. So point goes to Greeley Wallbach. The Titans with the point. Just off the hand and straight down. The play center's Jill Boxer. Kolar to serve. Tries it on two. Good coverage. And that time, Skylar Erickson went right between the hands of the block and powers it through there for another point, all even at 14. Again, very balanced here. Both teams really coming back, answering back and forth. Big pounding kill by Sorensen, number five. Sorsen just again, she's so athletic. She gets up, she's strong. Great cut shot here. She hits the ball, wrist away. Served by Boxa into the net. Boxa led this team with 58 aces this season. A couple early service errors. Boxer pushes outside to Sorensen again, who tips that time. Good recovery by Nikolai. Sorensen again with the try. Got it. Abby Sorensen <laughs> with another kill. Comes in with a lot of power, and, and it's, it's just hard to get behind it. You got to slow it down, you got to absorb it. But it's coming so fast and so hard, it, it's hard to do. You gotta be very relaxed. Take some of that speed off the ball. And the ace now by Sorensen. Sorensen had 92 <laughs> nervous aces on the season. Again, she doesn't let up, doesn't back off at all when she rotates to the back row. She's very uh, integral in making things happen, even from the back row. Check that stat, it was 
Sorensen leading his team in aces this year. Also in kills. In attempts. 17-16 uh, Wildcats on top. Nikolai with the serve there. Back line just long. Good swing though by Sierra Tompkin. Tompkin again, she's kind of, she's right in there behind, you know, Sorensen. You kind of, she does her job when Sorensen goes to the back row, she steps in. And an ace. Jamie Nikolai with the ace. Take a look at Jamie. Jamie's name, I'm not sure how you get Nikolai out of N-E-K-O-L-I-C-Z-A-K, -E but she assures us it's Jamie Nikolai. And we like it because that's pretty easy for us <laughs> to right. say. That's right. <laughs> so thank you, Miss Nikolai. She sets behind her. Into the net, and called on the play, play center. center. So the Titans have come from behind, now have a two-point lead, and head coach Judy Studnicka wants to take a timeout to chat it over. Uh, just a reminder, this afternoon's game is being streamed live on the web at netnebraska.org forward slash sports. You can log on, click the live stream link to see coverage of all the NSAA Nebraska High School Volleyball Championships. So if you know someone who can't get NET, maybe out of state or out of country, make sure they log on and check out today's matches at netnebraska.org forward slash sports. So 19-17, a nice rally here by the greeley Wolbach Titans. Now that is a unique yeah. cat. I believe it's made out of a volleyball. Captain, yeah, volleyball, I guess. We have all kinds of great fans here and fun <laughs> costumes and dress up and cheers. They've been wonderful. Swing, a little high-handed. Sierra Tompkins is long. So now the Titans just five away from taking set number one. Back row, long again. Number, unforced errors yeah. here early. Exactly what I was gonna say. A lot of unforced errors here by Clay Center. Struggling with that. Those are things, the good thing is those are things they can correct and they can make changes. That goes into the net. So another one, that's three straight, either long or into the net by Clay Center. Puts the Titans within three. Now Judy Studnick is subbing in. Brittany Bike is in, junior outside hitter. Right on that back line, good swing, Shelby Rother. Rother just sneaks it around the blockers, edge. just smooth, real controlled with the ball. Great shot. So Rother with the kill, makes it 23-17, and now the Titans two away. Into the net. Service error there by Nikolai, but a great string there um, at the service position. Now into the game to serve for Clay Center is Brianna Bailey. Bailey, the 5'4", junior libero. Nikolai will set. She goes behind her to the freshman Erickson. And Erickson with the kill. Puts the Titans within one. Of set number one. And long. So still set point now for Greeley Wolbach. Right between the block, the kill goes to Krista Kolar and Greeley Wolbach. The Titans have taken set number one, 25-19. The Class D2 State Championship led by Greeley Wolbach. Set two coming up. program.
programming made possible by Time Warner Cable, supporting local performing arts and arts education with projects like Adventure Lead and our annual Arts Immersion Project. Time Warner Cable, the power of you. Soy biodiesel from Nebraska soybeans lowers our dependence on foreign oil. It has properties that reduce engine wear. And it burns without harmfully polluting the atmosphere. The Nebraska Soybean Board encourages the use of soy biodiesel. There are more ways than ever to enjoy your favorite NET programming, all broadcast digitally. NET1 and NET HD provide locally produced specials and documentaries about the issues that are important to you. NET2 offers PBS World, a 24-hour digital channel showing locally produced and PBS documentaries. On NET's third digital channel, Create, advice on cooking, gardening, and home improvement. Visit netnebraska.org to find out how to see them in your area. coverage of the 2009 NSAA High School Volleyball Championships is brought to you in part by U.S. Bank, committed to customer service through performance, products, and people. U.S. Bank, proud sponsor of the Nebraska School Activities Association, member FBIC. By Blue Cross Blue Shield of Nebraska, one less thing to worry about. And by Education Quest Foundation, improving access to college through scholarships, grants, and college planning services. So all Titans in set number one, they win a 25-19. Led by Krista Kolar and Shelby Rother. And stats really indicate that too. The Titans were very balanced in their offense, used a lot of players. They uh, had 10 kills in that first game. Diggs played great defense again. Very strong, comfortable play as they stepped out um, in the state championship game. I guess they got a little confidence after that big win yesterday. I mean, that had, had to feel like if we can do that, we're ready to do anything. And they're playing like that right now. Emily Majerus, the senior middle, with another kill. Three now for Majerus in the match. She's really the one who took over 23 kills in the semis. Sixth of them in the fifth set. We're putting three straight when it was at 14 to eight. I was gonna say, at that point when they took over in the serve, she was the one yeah. who stepped up and they kept giving her the ball and she did exactly what they needed her to do. Well, this is the last year you'll see just Clay Center as a school. Mm -hmm. Next year they go to a combined school, so they're ranked second in the state in their last year as just Clay Center and they would like nothing more than to go out a state champ in the final year as play center. And another interesting thing, both these two schools have the same superintendent. He's a superintendent, it's Lee Sayers, he's a superintendent for both schools. So he was thrilled to death that he had both teams here in the championship. <laughs> so he's I, only having to attend one um, I think I saw him earlier. Too. He was the guy that had half orange and half red on, right? <laughs> yes, and grinning from ear to ear. That's right. <laughs> that swing into the antenna. Of course, Clay Sitter and Grilly Walbach just about 90 minutes apart, so easy for Lee Sayer to be the superintendent of both school districts. Uh, easy might be the wrong word. He might, <laughs> he might disagree. <laughs> but fortunate that he can do that. Yes, that's right. Right now, Clay Center's struggling, um, passing the ball, but they're, they're making a lot of their own errors. 
still you can see not in rhythm they've just shifted in their serve receive they'll do that often as a server steps back to serve they make a shift in their serve receive to try and change who's receiving the ball if they've identified to serve it to a certain zone trying to help them become a little bit more strong in passing it also creates a chance for a little greater air too as they're moving you got to really focus on the ball two aces in the match for abby Sorensen. that's her second of the match nearing a hundred on the season for Sorensen. Block back. Good block there by Danielle Sock. Nice reaction by Erickson. Here's the freshman. She's really working hard to get that line. She caught the antenna this time. She goes a little bit wide on that swing. Um, just gonna clean that up a little bit, but she's got the right idea. Two hits. Nikolai working hard to get to that ball and, and make a good play on it. Just need that ball in her hands in a little better condition, and she'll make that play. So play center comes out strong here in set number two after dropping the first. They're on top seven to three. Pushed back. That time Erickson's swing is wide. And a timeout called by Todd Beck. After being a runner-up in the state tournament two years in a row, Ewing was ready to make a comeback last year. The undefeated Tigers took out their aggression on the fourth-ranked Chambers Coyotes in the Class D2 championship game from last year. Let's look back. And this morning, we kick things off in Class D2 with the Chambers Coyotes taking on the unbeaten Ewing Tigers. And finally, Ewing gets it. Can't deliver. Outside wall nothing. And she does. And that'll give set number two to the Ewing Tigers. Abby Sheets with another ace. DeVries locked back. State championship. The Ewing Tigers. After back-to-back -back regular season unbeaten years, they have finally won a state championship. A lot of excitement. That one certainly wasn't a sleeper. And <laughs> looks like we might have one here early, though. <laughs> 8-3 Wildcats on top. That was a nice championship for Ewing last year. Haley Tramer's final year at Ewing. Of course, she's now playing her full-time volleyball here at the Nebraska Coliseum in the middle of what appears to be a red shirt season. Although, interestingly enough, Coach Cook was talking this week at his press conference and said Haley's been playing so well and at such a high level that he's actually thought a couple of times about of course, he says that. Yeah. He, he may not <laughs> yeah. actually pull her out of the red shirt, but I think he's illustrating the point that he's been extremely pleased with what he's seen from Haley Turner. He said she's really advancing very quickly and picking up on things, and they're just excited to have her there. And like you said, it's very tempting yeah. <laughs> to want to take advantage of that. 10-3 Wildcats continue to extend that lead. Served by Sorensen. We go outside, Tompkin blocked back. Tompkin again. Back to Nikolai, can't get it down. The longest rally so far mm -hmm. of this match, and a great dig there, off a big swing. Still not down. Back, Nikolai, good up. Back row, dug by Majerus. Majerus stays alive. punches it back across. On the overpass, put down, Skylar Erickson. Big one there for Skylar Erickson. She's been frustrated a bit. She's had some hitting errors. This one, she puts to rest. Nikolai will serve now. Throws it up. Tompkin can't get it down. 
Over to Tompkin again. She's getting a lot of work from that left mm -hmm. side. Little roll shot, but they're covering is Sorensen. Now Tompkin again. The other way, punch to the back. Out of the back row. Sorensen couldn't get it down. Again, another long rally. And Erickson finishes it off. Both long rallies going to the Titans. Here you're gonna see again Erickson really off balance, just leans back and controls with a good hand contact. And an ace. Jamie Nikolai with another ace. She's doing a tremendous job from the service line, really putting a lot of pressure on Clay Center. I jinxed her, it always <laughs> happens, I knew you were. 11-6 <laughs> now, Wildcats. Here's Brianna Bailey to serve. Back row, nice swing and the kill by Kolar. Big swing there by Kolar. She gets in the back, and they, again, really working hard to get an offense going at all times. They really do a great job balancing their attack and not being afraid to use the back row if they need it. Good swing there by Tompkins. She really needed the, pushing the ball to the outside. She's been keeping it in play. Here she gets the big kill off the blocker's hands. So 12-7. Serve of Vanessa Ponder. Back row swing, Majerus is long. So Ponder, the 5-6 senior right side, into the net. Five point advantage for the Clay Center Wildcats. Take a look at Judy Stidnicka. Crystal Hassenstab and Deb Schmolt, her assistants. The loss last year did play sitter to eventual champion, which we just saw Ewing. Mm -hmm. They lost in the semifinals. Every one of those games, though, they lost to Ewing. They, they lost in three, but every one was a tight game. And Judy said they were so close last year that when it got down to it this year and they were in a tight one, they just weren't going to let it go. They knew they had to get to the Coliseum. And that's what great teams do. They take those experiences and learn from them and use them the next time and better themselves because of that. They don't get frustrated or down about it. They use it to drive on forward. Sorensen's swing is long. Into the net. So 15-9 now. Rayvon Hudson to serve, the 5'6 senior. Majerus rolls it over, and Majerus with another kill. That's four. Great job by Majerus. Erickson really worked hard herself to battle and get that ball up in the air to allow Majerus to even get a swing off at it. Outside Sorensen. Great shot on a tough ball. Very tough ball. And wide, the swing from Krista Kolar. Well, Titans kind of hanging around here. Erickson's really working hard to hit that line. She's just struggling to get that ball in court. Good hustle to get after that ball, set behind her. And it looked like Majerus wasn't expecting the set behind her. Mm -hmm. Kind of a bump set and sent it long. So Wildcats now up by seven. There's Majerus on the outside. That's blocked out of bounds off the hands of Sorensen. Great job there by Majerus. She passed that ball and then came back in. It's ready for the quick, that attack on the backside. Off the tape. Good up. Great Sorensen. push by Boxa. Just long. Sorensen's struggling right now. Looks like last few swings have gone long. 
And she didn't, she isn't getting great balls. Their team isn't passing real well. Box is really working hard just to get a ball up in the air for her to get a, a swing at. Doing a good job with that, but again, it's not an ideal situation. There's a little better one and pays off. So the ninth kill of the match for Abby Sorensen. Remember Sorensen, 24 kills away from the Class D2 single season record of 554 kills. She's had 50 kills in two games at the state tournament. A little confusion at the net and into the net called on Greeley Wallbox. So it was right in between the two hitters. Both of them were being aggressive, going after the ball, and collided. Jump serve of Sorensen. Good pass. Block back. Good hand on it by Danielle Sock up front. So 2012 now, play center. Into the net. Back to serve goes Jamie Nikolai. You see the spelling there, and not <laughs> sure how you get Nikolai out of. But that's how it's pronounced. I was given on good authority that that is the correct <laughs> pronunciation, and I guaranteed we would say it correctly. Touch and out. Point goes to the Wildcats. And now Todd Beck wants an explanation. Todd Beck chatting over there. Look at Todd Beck now wants a timeout for the Titans. So it's 21-13. Wildcats lead it here in set number two after dropping the first 25-19. NET sports coverage of the 2009 NSAA High School Volleyball Championships is proudly brought to you in part by NPPD, Nebraska Public Power District, generating electricity with a balanced mix of energy resources, including wind. Nebraska Soybean Board, encouraging the use of renewable biodiesel fuels for a healthier environment. For information, nebraskasoybeans.org. And by Time Warner Cable, providing cable, internet, and digital phone service for your home or your business. Well, it's December, NET Television presents Sports in Society, More Than Games. This roundtable discussion features national sports historians and authors discussing college spending, sports as a business, the influence of media, plus gender and race issues. You don't want to miss NET's production of Sports in Society, More Than a Game, Thursday, December 16th at 9 Central on NET1 and NET HD. That's blocked back. Into the net goes Sorensen. Seven point advantage for the Clay Center Wildcats. Great job by Box to get that set off and, and more importantly keep herself out of the net. Doing a great job up there. Pushed Handling it, some tough balls. Pushed it outside to Sierra Tompkin who got the kill. 22-14 now. Play center just three away from taking set number two. Majerus with a good up. Nikolai sets behind her. Erickson can't get it down. Swing is long from Sorensen. Sorensen's struggling here a bit, really frustrated with herself. Um, just not able to get the ball and keep it in play. They're using her, they keep going to her. Outside. Tompkin doesn't get it down. Nor does Kolar. Tompkin again. Majerus in the middle with the tip try. Good coverage by Tompkin on the dunk. Kept alive. Nice job by the Titans. Great ball pursuit. Good thought by Nikolai to go deep corner. Somebody was there. Another long rally. Majerus tries to finish it. Can't. Tompkin. Got it. 
right down the line by Tompkins. Great job. Again, Boxer running all over the court, throwing up balls. And here she gets a great one up for Tompkins, and she delivers. Great line shot. Right through the block, Majerus with another kill. Five for Majerus. Majerus showing her leadership and just her focus. She just keeps working away, getting kills. Here she swings on the outside. Sorensen, Doug. Two hits called in the Titans. So that'll put the Wildcats within one for set number two. And into the match for Clay Center to serve comes Rayvon Hudson. Into the net. Still set point for Clay Center. This to even it at one set apiece. The Titans took set number one, 25-19. Swing is long, no touch. Tip try, got it. That's all she needed to do, just make the change there. Great adjustment, great players do that. So Abby Sorensen changes up the pace, gets her 10th kill of the match, and sends Clay Center to the win in set number two. We're now all even at one set apiece in the D2 title match. Soy biodiesel from Nebraska soybeans lowers our dependence on foreign oil. It has properties that reduce engine wear. And it burns without harmfully polluting the atmosphere. The Nebraska Soybean Board encourages the use of soy biodiesel. Hey, college doesn't just happen. You have to push yourself as you go through high school. Don't be afraid to take hard classes like Algebra 2, Biology, and a Foreign Language. They can help you get a better score on the ACT and prepare you for college. Now, I was no brainiac in high school, but I took the tough classes and I passed. So push yourself over to the counselor's office and sign up for them. They might not be easy, but you'll be glad you did. We owe everything to these soldiers, not old men, but they were young and dashing. So he does the only thing he can think of. He asks the townspeople of Neely to treat White Buffalo Girl, his daughter, as though she were one of theirs. Nebraska Stories, showcasing our state and the people who call themselves Nebraskans. When you meet with your trusted advisors to review your year-end giving plans, consider naming NET Television as a charitable beneficiary in your estate plans. Thank you for ensuring that the impact of public television continues for generations to come. For more information on creating a legacy gift in your name, please call me directly or visit our website. NET sports coverage of the 2009 NSAA High School Volleyball Championships is brought to you by these proud sponsors, NPPD, Nebraska Public Power District, always there when you need us, together with your local public power utility. By the Nebraska Soybean Board, encouraging the use of renewable biodiesel fuels for a healthier environment. For information, nebraskasoybeans.org. And by Time Warner Cable, providing coverage of local high school sporting events and activities on Nebraska On Demand, Channel 101. Guys, look at Lee Sayer, the superintendent for both Clay Center and Greeley Wallback School Districts, and you see how he's handling the situation right down the middle. A little bit of blue, a little bit of orange. I like the approach. Nice work 
The Lee Sayer. This is the Lee Sayer Championship. <laughs> now he, right now he's sitting on the Greenlee Wallbox side. You think maybe I think he's he, he switching switches back and forth? Back and forth, and I didn't see him cheering. I just saw him <laughs> being neutral. <laughs> but again, smiling from ear to ear. We're at, glad they're both here. And there's a lift. First point of set number three goes to the Titans. All leaving a one set apiece. Really well, Bach took set number one, 25-19. Play center came back in the second, 25-18. Well, a good hustle, but a nice tip. Krista Kolar, nice job mixing it up. Again, really making the defense pursue the ball. Just finding the right spots on the court to send the ball to. So here's Darian Erickson, the junior setter. Boxer really working there at the setter spot. Good set from Erickson. Majerus just tips it over. Good pursuit. And it falls on the Wildcat side of the net. And the Titans out quick. 3-0 lead. Sorensen again, long. And a timeout coming by Clay Center. So Titans out quit in set number three on top four to nothing and Clay Center will talk it over. Hey, be sure to watch NET2 next week for live coverage of the Nebraska Legislative Special Session on the budget shortfall. NET2 will broadcast public hearings of the Appropriations Committee and live gavel-to-gavel -gavel coverage of the unicameral floor debate. Live streaming also available at netnebraska.org forward slash capital. For more information and a full daily schedule, log on to netnebraska.org forward slash capital. Should be interesting to see how our state legislators will handle that 330 million plus budget deficit. You can catch it all next week on NET2. There's some fans from Greeley Walbach enjoying the atmosphere here at the Nebraska Coliseum. Out of the back row. Sorensen just pushes it over. Go to the middle, and Majerus, Majerus puts it into the block, and it falls on the Wildcat side. Majerus really just powers it through, and she does a great job getting in on transition, and they feed it right to her. A pretty good start here to set number three by the Titans. Really wall by. There's Sorensen, slows it a bit. She needed that. She's really not had a nice, big, clean swing. She's been a little long on her swings. She's getting back on track here. Did it hit right the line? It did. Line. Right on the line. Great touch. Great tip. Najeris isn't tall. She's only 5'9". It's middle. So mm -hmm. she's doing a great job up there, making smart shots, making great decisions. 6-1's tightened here in set number three. Outside, sorts and into the net. No block on that. That was just a swing yep. error on Sorensen. Straight set push. They push the tempo outside, but um, she's getting a little frustrated. She comes back. I don't know what's the matter. I don't know how to fix it right now. So she'll keep working at it. I can guarantee that. Great tempo ball there. Outside the push and a kill by Skylar Erickson. Skylar knows that line is open and available for her. She hasn't been able to convert with a big swing, so she just does a tempo shot again, going where she knows it's going to be advantage. Upserved by Kolar. Boxer chases it down out of the back row. Swing long. Once again by Tompkins. 
Clay Center's really struggling getting the ball to Box in good condition. Box is working her tail off, really pursuing balls. She gets her hands and gets the ball up in the air for somebody to swing at. That's very impressive. Um, team just needs to finish those off, but give her a little better ball. It'll help them offensively. We're talking about the passing struggles of Clay Center. So Brooke Yates, the junior 5-3 DS now into the game, trying to provide a little bit more stable passing. Now Yates will set two hits. Tough to come in cold right off. And now right back into the game comes Dylan Woodbury. So quite likely Judy Stadicka just wanted to have a little chat with her. Yeah, coach just again change things up, get a little, and you're looking for anything. You put somebody in there quick, maybe see if somebody steps in and, and they um, are able to make a difference. 10 1 Titans in the third. Boy, good block and a nice Great up. Off. Erickson. Tipped over again. And a free ball now for the Wildcats. They try it on two. Titans had it covered, but the response was a little strong. Greeley Walbach on top, 10-2. And their fans now on their feet. Box into the net. Not a way to get things turned around there. That missed serve is critical, and it's just an emotional change, too, as well. You've worked so hard to get it back. See how they respond here and see if they can get the side out. Nikolai tried to get a swing on it, but into the net it goes. Now 11-3. I think that Greeley Wallbox doing a nice job, really floor coverage. Because you see Clay Center really trying to mix it up, having trouble mm -hmm. swinging. They're going long and wide. They've been mixing it up the last several swings, trying to tip and find open floor. And the Titans doing a nice job of covering the floor. They're covering the floor very well. And most of the swings from Clay Center are coming from the outside. So it still gives you an edge and advantage there mm -hmm. on your defense, knowing it's coming from one direction. You can be more thorough in covering the area. So Danielle Sock with the kill there. For Clay Center, still an eight-point advantage. She's been working hard to get that line. She got a great set to her coming off the pass. Great swing. There's Brianna Bailey serving wide. Another unforced error by Clay Center. And it's 13-5. Skylar Erickson now serves. Or Grilly Wolbach. Again. Ball handling off that serve receive is really creating so many problems. We always talk serve and pass. Those two are the critical. If you have a chance, you got to do those two things well. And the kill on the outside by Grilly Wallback. Dar Darian Erickson, and that's a timeout by Judy Studnicka. Fifteen five Titans on top. NET coverage of the 2009 NSAA High School Volleyball Championships is brought to you in part by U.S. Bank, committed to customer service through performance, products, and people. U.S. Bank, proud sponsor of the Nebraska School Activities Association, member FBIC. By Blue Cross Blue Shield of Nebraska, one less thing to worry about. And by Education Quest Foundation, improving access to college through scholarships, grants, and college planning services. Okay. So 15-5 Titans on top. Very well back fans, the Titans. Excited their team on top by 10 and all even at one set apiece here in set number three. Skylar Erickson now.
kill. Sierra Tompkin. Sierra Tompkin trying to get things going for a team. Two big swings on the outside here. That's exactly what the Wildcats need. More and more of that. Good up, kept alive. Darian Erickson can't get it down. Back row. Sorensen tried the tip again. Still alive, but the kill will go to Rother. Or Gurley Wallback. Shelby Rother did a nice job. She did a lot of things in that little rally in that series. Played tough in that, responded, picked up some tip balls that were coming over. Finishes it off. Into the net. Called in the Titans. Play center with the point. Nice fast transition there. Great pass up into the hands of Boxa. And, and Tompkins on the backside right in for that quick attack. Two hits. Two hits. Darian Erickson trying to take a ball, tough ball, make something big out of it. She really has to push hard. Hands weren't solid and, and steady when she set. Off the block and out. Another point for Greeley Wallback. 16, 17, 8 now. And Majerus again, just her leadership out on the court, making plays. Erickson served just long. We're all even a one set apiece here in the Class D2 State Championship game. Play center, really wall back. Two teams combined for just three losses on the year. That goes into the antenna. Really wall back Titans at 32 and 1. Play center Wildcats 31 and 2. Now 17 10, good serve by Ravon Hudson. Right back at her. And a kill by Emily Majerus. Majerus again, she just works up there steady, consistent, doesn't make a lot of errors, doing a great job communicating to her team. When she gets the ball, does what she needs to do, goes back to business. Sorensen's ball kept alive. In the middle, Majerus can't get it down. Good defense again. Sorensen will push deep corner. The Titans are there. Outside the swing by Skylar Erickson. And Erickson with another kill. Big swing there by Skylar Erickson. She's got just enough room. She sneaks it right between the blockers' hands. 19-10, so and Julie Stadnicka goes to her bench again. Trying to get something to happen, trying to turn things around, finding somebody that maybe will spark her team. Rick Yates now in. Top get a good pass out to Sorensen. Got a good swing at it, but kept it alive. But Sorensen will get the kill. So first kill for a while for Abby Sorensen. Make it 12 now in the match. And boxing out of serve. And that time Sorensen put the overpass down. I think that 13 then, she's making a... Things happen up there. Swing is long. Majerus just long and now a timeout called by Todd Beck. So 19-13, Titans on top of the Wildcats in set number three. You know, if you'd like a copy of today's game, it's available on DVD for $19.95 plus shipping and handling. You can order it by calling 800-868-1868 or go to netnebraska.org forward slash sports. You can relive these memories for years to come. Play center and really well back in the Class D2 state championship match. Get your DVD. And please specify the school and the class when you call and order by phone. So they split the first two sets. Really well back winning the first. Clay center the second. 
And it's 19-13 Titans in the third. Out of the timeout from Todd Beck. Let's see where the Titans go. They go to the overpass and Sorensen puts it down. 14 now for Sorensen. Sorensen right there at the tape. The Titans struggling passing here just a bit. Putting it tight. They fed two balls right up to Sorensen. You can't do that. And now Ashley Dugan will come in the game for really well back. Todd Beck making the change, trying to get some more consistent passing in there. Sometimes that change just provides a little bit more focus for everybody else. It's just a different look. It's a, just a, something that's going to make the difference. 15 now for Abby Sorensen. That's the block for Sorensen, not kill. It's 19-15. Another big block. Dump try, good coverage. Great up by Boxa. Outside sorts, and she's starting to unload now. And that's the thing about her. She's just continued. She's done other things. If it was, it was tough serving when she was struggling attacking. It was. She's getting blocks here. They're getting her the ball in better condition, and she's heating up. Great run by Clay Center and the ace. They're back to within two. Titans had led this by as many as 10 at 15-5, and now it's 19-17. Majerus tries to dip. Sorensen a block again. Sorensen's right there. Majerus, they like to use her on this in this rotation on the back side, but she's got a big block in front of her. Jill Boxa doing a great job from the service line, running a string here. Pushed over, free ball, Let's see what Clay Sitter does. Why not go to Sorensen? She's on fire and continues. Get the ball to her in good condition. And look at here, she can deliver that hard cut shot. She does a great job extending and wrist away to make that a hard angle shot. Sorensen, three straight kills and a block. And it's now all even at 19 in set number three and Todd Beck calls timeout for Greeley Wallback. Well, whatever Julie Stednick has said to her team in that last clay center huddle apparently worked well. They have come all the way back to tie this set number three. You know, we encourage you to give us an email. Shoot us an email at sports at netnebraska.org and tell us why NET sports coverage of the NSAA volleyball championships are important to you. We use our viewer feedback to help us bring you the best possible coverage. So again, please give us an email. Tell us what a great job you think Kathy's doing at sports at <laughs> netnebraska.org. Then later when you do that, you can I say, do you, yeah, yeah. say what a great job. Thank Now's you. your time. <laughs> <laughs> well, the point that time of the Titans, they take another one point lead. It's 2019. Here's Emily Majerus to serve, the senior middle. Goes back to Sorensen. Sorensen, another kill. Sorensen, they hit, get heating up. The good thing for really Wallback, she's in the back row now. However, she will keep a, make sure her presence known. She's a great server. We'll see what she does here. Serves a tough one. Good tip. Nice pancake. Kept alive. Titans thought they had that one. They go outside, block back. Big block, Vanessa Ponder. Ponder right there to meet Erickson at the net. Steps in, strong hands. Wildcats, first lead of set number three. They trailed 5-0 to start and were down 15-5. It's now 21-20 and they lead it. In the middle, pushed over by Rother. Outside, Tompkin can't get it down. The other way. One of these long rallies, we've seen several in this match. Tries the angle, it's not there. Dope, good up. Can they keep it alive? They do, Sorensen gets it over. 
great defensive effort by both squads. Block back. Again, the big block. Vanessa Pounder on the outside. Vanessa Pounder on the outside. Great up also by Jill Baxter to save that last one. Gets underneath it. Feeds it right into the block. 22-20 Wildcats. What a comeback by Clay Center. Certainly doesn't rival the comeback they had yesterday, but impressive in its own right. Good oh. job by Ponder to keep that one up. Probably an ill-advised swing by Sorensen. He's trying to stay aggressive and again, be on the attack at all times. Just didn't get a good control of the ball. 22-21 now. Wildcats still up by one. Pushed outside. Here's Tompkins. Blocked back. All even. Nice block. Erickson on the outside along with Rother. Erickson, yeah, great setup. I believe that inside hand of Erickson really got the bulk of the ball. Into the net. Called on Skyler Erickson of Greeley Wallback. 23-22 now. Pretty easy call there is actually turned her body into it. Mm -hmm. We go right back to her. Kept alive. Boxer sends it over. Outside. Erickson. Blocked back again. Big block by Clay Center here in set three. Vanessa Ponder has been on the top. She has been all over that ball up at the block. A set away for the Wildcats. Again, the block kept up. And long. Four big blocks in set number three the way back from down by 10 to win it 25 22 and clay center takes a two sets to one lead as we head to set number four you're watching net1 and net hd The 2009 season is here, and you can catch all the action both on and off the court on the Nebraska Volleyball Show. Join head coach John Cook as he breaks down highlights of every Husker game. Plus, meet this year's team with in-depth features you won't find anywhere else. You can catch it all on the Nebraska Volleyball Show. Monday night at 7 Central Time on NET2. Hello, I'm Ron Hull. If you've been watching NET for the past 50 years or so, you and I grew up together, and we got older. We've all heard the expression, having our life flash before our eyes. Well, thanks to a lifelong career in television and the magic of videotape, that experience happens to me quite often. But from my point of view, it's more fun to roll it backwards. I have always believed in the power of this medium and its potential to enrich, educate, and entertain you, and your children, and your grandchildren. NET exists because the citizens of Nebraska saw the need for a public broadcasting network that serves the entire state. I've been honored to play a part in making that a reality. And I'm asking you now to join me in supporting the Inspire Nebraska campaign. Together, we can inspire Nebraska. Along with my partner, Adrian Fiala, I'm Kevin Kugler, inviting you to join us for Big Red Wrap-Up. Kevin will recap the Kansas-Nebraska game with sports writer, Husker historian, Mike Babcock. Join us next Tuesday for Big Red Wrap-Up right here on NET, Nebraska's home for sports. Welcome back to the Nebraska Coliseum Class D2 State Championship. Clay Center comes from behind in the third set to take a two sets to one advantage. 
There's a look at the scores. Let's also take a look at the stats from set number three. They've somewhat evened out as we go in into here the fourth set. Um, Diggs, you can see Titans playing great defense. Mm -hmm. um, and early on, again, led by 10. But look at the blocks. Uh, 1 to 11. And the blocks at the end of the match by Vanessa Ponder was critical and made a huge impact. There's a look at Abby Sorensen. You know, she told Todd Heinrichs of the Lincoln Journal Star that she's always wanted to be on TV. Since I was little, I've always wanted to be on TV. In fact, she told her coach, Julie <laughs> Stadnicka, she told her coach when she was in seventh grade, Coach, I want to be on TV. Here's your chance. All right. Congratulations. She's playing quite well here. Really warmed up there in set number three. Big part of that turnaround. I mean, a 10-point deficit come back. That's huge. In the net there. Titans, as they did in set number three, come out, take the lead, and now a service error by Darian Erickson. Evens it at one. There's Todd Beck. Interesting story on Todd. You know, he's the principal at really well back. Yeah, and, he, and so he has double duties there as the principal and the head coach, but also his father, Jim Beck, was a principal and teacher there. And so there has been a Beck in charge or a principal there, um, or Mr. Beck at that school, Greeley, I guess when they combined right. or whatever, for 41 of 49 years. So the Beck name is well known yeah. in, the, in the Greeley community. But again, Todd Beck pulling double duty here as principal and coach of the squad. Great kill on the two ball there. All even at two. Here's Jill Boxa, 5'6", senior setter. A little struggle with the serve a bit today. Three, two Titans. Emily Majerus is served. Boxa sets outside. Pretty good swing by Sorensen and a nice dig as well. Swing there right on the back line. Skylar Erickson with the kill. Big shot there by Skylar Erickson. Just catches that baseline. Majerus to serve again. Pretty good pass. Boxer behind her. Sorensen tips it. Great job. Nice recognition of the court by Sorensen. And again, just mixing it up, appearing in a different place. You tend to know the ball is going to Sorens, and she's going to get the ball. Here she is in a different spot, making the play. Now the ace by Sorensen. She served very tough from the baseline, as we mentioned before, led this team 92 aces all season, continues serving very aggressively here in this championship match. Nice shot again, Erickson with another kill, make it five for Erickson. Again, just a tempo shot. Again, mm -hmm. she does a nice job rolling, taking a little bit off. Well, a great set by Boxer. Yeah. Had a tough one in the net. Not only stayed out of the net, but put it in a place where it could be hit by Tompkins. And you can see, if you just isolate and watch her for a while, she does a great job of that. She takes difficult balls. She has great body awareness and where she is in relationship to that net. And keeps herself out of it. And sometimes, I don't know how she does it. Push set by Erickson. Into the net, Wildcats on top by one at 6-5. Here's Brianna Bailey, the junior libero. It's served by Bailey. Nicolite behind her. Sorensen keeps it alive. Then they go right back to her out of the back row into the net. Again, another swing, big swing there by Erickson from the backside. She's really playing very well here as they've come out and set four, making some big swings. Erickson with the tip try. Good coverage by Bailey. Outside again, Tompkin. Trying doesn't this, quite yeah, get it over. Trying that soft roll, good idea. That area of the court she was trying for, it's a good spot. Oh. 
Sorensen into the net. I think they're serving right at Abby Sorensen, mm -hmm. trying to not only take her out of the offense, but she's struggling a little bit serving passing as well. Now Sorensen from the back row. Had a good swing on. Pushed across, into the net. Darian, her whole feet, foot went across the net. Part of your foot can cross that center line, but her, the whole foot went across as she tried to make that strong play. Was behind her. Rotho blocked back. Tompkins there. Rotho really trying to get it through there. Couldn't. And she was met by Tompkins. All even at eight, set number four. Race center Wildcats leading it two sets to one in the match. Nice defense. Good couple of quick reaction. Nice mm -hmm. hands. That just long. Shelby Rother had a good swing at it. Mm -hmm. Puts it just about a foot long. The Wildcats with the lead at 9 8. Rother again. And that time she got the kill. So here's Ashley Dugan, 5'4", junior, defensive specialist. Boxa tried it on two. Good swing by Majerus in the middle. Majerus just takes it on the inside of the blocker's hands, goes for that hard, deep corner. Titans back up by one now. See if they can keep it alive, and they do. Majerus again. Majerus right off the side of the block. Same swing. Looks just the same. Same result. Here you can see the blockers are off to her left. She takes it hard right. And Julie Stadnicka wants a timeout again. So 11-9. Titans on top. Well, you know, we want to know what you think, so go online each week to take the Big Red Sideline Survey. You can find the Big Red Sideline Survey at netnebraska.org forward slash Big Red Wrap Up. So pop on and let us know what you think. Take the weekly survey for Big Red Wrap Up. Well, it was interesting to get the pulse of Nebraska football fans in terms of how their team is doing. The Wildcats break the huddle after the timeout from Julie Stavnicka. Down by two, leading two sets to one in the D2 State Championship match. Boxa leaves it for Tompkin, who can't get it down. Erickson, roll shot, no. Outside, Tompkin again, can't get it. Tompkin getting a lot of work over there and that time into the net. <laughs> a lot of swings. She's having to work hard, get in, get out, get back off. And here she tries to roll shot and just didn't get a good hand on the ball. Serve is wide. Now Sierra Tompkin, the senior. With 45 aces on the year will serve. Handled easily by Nikolai, outside. Jarris can't get that one to go. Sorensen back in the front row, pounds that one. Big swing, but great up by Dugan. And blocked back, great job by Majerus. <laughs> Majerus up to the net. Again, just she's so steady and consistent. Very poised all the time. Good job to push it deep. Boxes sets outside. Sorensen, all she can do is push. Middle. Majerus kept alive. 
Majerus again. Good dig. Tompkin and out. Nikolai was there as the ball popped up. Just a little wide as she sent it over, but great swings by Majerus. Being aggressive up in the net, they keep pushing it to her. Rayvon Hudson back into the game to serve for Clay Center. Into the net. Her job as she comes in there is to make that serve, and that's really critical. She take her time as she gets in there. Seems a little rushed that time. 14-11, three-point lead for the Titans. That's off the top of the tape. And the ace. The good roll for Kolar. So Krista Kolar will keep the serve. Senior outside hitter, up by four. Boxa out Sorensen. Nice dig by Dugan. And the kill, swing <laughs> Skyler Erickson's excited. That's the shot she has been working this whole match for. That line hard shot, she got it. And she's celebrating as she should. So the Titans on a run. They're on top 16-11 here in the fourth set, but they trail two sets to one. A Titan victory would send us to a fifth. You know, Monday night at 7 Central on NET2, catch the Nebraska Volleyball Show. Coach John Cook, coach breaks down the previous week's game and takes you inside Husker Volleyball. The Nebraska Volleyball Show with John Cook, Monday night, 7 Central, only on NET2. Check with your local cable company for channel listings. NET is your home for sports. Of course, we have volleyball coming up this Wednesday night on NET as Nebraska, after a sweep of Texas A&M here last night on this floor, they will play Baylor on Wednesday here at the, at, uh, the Coliseum. Right now, it's the D2 state championship match. And it's the Titans trying to push it to a deciding fifth game. 16-11, Sorensen. Lift. You got to give a lot of credit to Ashley Dugan. She's the coach. Beck has subbed her in here, and she has made a definitely a positive impact as she's come out on the floor. She's made some great digs, doing a tremendous job helping this team push, trying to push to a fifth set. And the ace by Krista Kohler, another one. 17-11, what a run by the Titans. 6-0 run by Greeley Wolbach. Sorensen goes line and found it. Really working hard against Sorensen up front. She's trying to make a big push here before she rolls to that back row. Into the tape. Boxa again. Struggling a bit with that serve, keeps catching the net. Nineteen twelve. Sorensen blocked back, got it off the shoulder. Nice work. Good job to keep it alive. And a kill. Just really a collision. Both players here on Titan squad being aggressive, trying to go for the ball. Just need to communicate. It's critical. So now Abby Sorensen will rotate into the back row, and she serves. Just off the net. Rother got a hand on it. They'll go outside now. Tompkin. And Tompkin with the kill. She took a little bit off and tried to get it to that deep corner, and it was able to do that. She knows that's a good area to go to. On the slide, off the block, and the kill by Skylar Erickson. Skylar Erickson ve playing very aggressive up in the net. Seems very confident as she goes after that ball and that slide around the backside. Just a freshman is Erickson. She definitely does not play like a freshman out on the court. Leads her team in kills for the year, 361 coming into the state championships. 
Todd Beck and his coaching staff looking on. They have a 2015 lead, five away from evening this match at two sets apiece. And that swing is long, long and long. <laughs> I like her aggressiveness up in there. She isn't holding back. She's going for it. Now Bailey to serve. He just off the top of the net. A joust there. Back row attack over the net. They call her a back row attack, Kathy, they, or they, they call her they, over the net? They actually call it a back row block. She, uh, Nikolai's in the back row, uh, and when she went up that ball, she actually blocked it as the attacker from uh, Clay Center hit it. So Even don't look now, but here comes Clay Center again after being down by eight. They're back to within three. Shoot, they said eight's nothing. It was ten last man, last game. In deep corner, pushed it back there. Bailey thought it was long, let it go, and it fell right on the line. 21-17, four-point advantage now, and four away are the Titans, looking to just side out their way to this set. But why not throw an ace in there? Add that to Skyler Erickson's game stats. She's just playing a very complete match. Tompkin kept alive with Jarris. Erickson couldn't get it down. Erickson the other way. Got it. Darian Erickson with the kill. Kind of the one-two punch here. One Erickson. Then now, right now, Darian. Big swing here. Puts him two away. Outside, Tompkin goes between the block. Dug by Erickson. Erickson outside. Kept it alive. Great hustle by Nikolai. Nikolai keeps it up. Good dig by Erickson. Outside, Kolar. Can't get it down. Back row, Swanson unloads. Long. And wide and long. So now 24-17. Set point, and they got it on an ace. Wow, great state championships. The class C2 title game goes five, and here we go in D2. We're going five. Clay Center and Greeley Wolbach. Programming provided by Nebraska Public Power District. My job as an engineer for the Nebraska Public Power District is rewarding. My education and technical skills are used every day to help generate electricity for Nebraska. And I feel good because I believe that what I do maintains the state's quality of life. NPPD is where I want to be. Nebraska Public Power District. Always there when you need us. Together with your local public power utility. Soy biodiesel from Nebraska soybeans lowers our dependence on foreign oil. It has properties that reduce engine wear. And it burns without harmfully polluting the atmosphere. The Nebraska Soybean Board encourages the use of soy biodiesel. Programming on NET television is made possible in part by U.S. Bank, Across Nebraska, the nation, and everywhere in between, U.S. Bank provides financial, trust, and investment services to individuals, large corporations, and small businesses. Wherever you go, whether it's in person, on the phone, or on the World Wide Web, you'll find U.S. Bank. You'll find more than 50,000 U.S. bankers, home of the five-star service guarantee. Programming made possible by Time Warner Cable, supporting local performing arts and arts education with projects like Adventure Lead and our annual Arts Immersion Project. Time Warner Cable, the power of you.
back at the Nebraska Coliseum. Really well back, takes set number four, 25-17. So here we go again, set number five on the way. Let's take a look at the stats through four steps, sets. Again, obviously the block differential leaning to the Wildcat side, but as you look up the defense, the Titans are playing great defense. They have 10 more digs than the Wildcats. So pretty balanced on the attack. Both teams have had some offensive stretches pretty even there. We'll see what happens. Good set. So the deciding set number five, a race to 15. Quick recap, Greeley Wallback took set number one at 25-19. Clay Sitter came back and took the next two, 25-18, 25-22. The Titans respond in the fourth set, winning at 25-17. And here we are. A deciding fifth set, you know, the Lincoln Journal star this morning, Todd Heinrich said the way these two teams have played and battled and come back that this looked like a made for TV match. Well, here we are and definitely the show is on. That's a wise man. He is. Into the net. Service error, Sierra Tompkin, 1-0 Titans. Well, back to serve for the Greeley Wellback Titans. Marion Erickson, tough serve. Sorensen got a swing on it. Big swing by Sorensen, but kept alive. Push to Sorensen again. Off the top of the tape, hit twice. Kolar tried to get it up. Smack it right back into the net and it fell right back Came on right her. Right back at her. Again, two big swings there by Sorensen. Rayvon Hudson now back into the game for the Wildcats to serve. Good serve by Hudson. Good pass. Majerus is shot blocked back. Outside, Nikolai blocked back. And the block by Boxa. Boxa was there, sent it right back. Potentially could have gone out of bounds, but Nikolai, second arm out. Point for the Wildcats. Hudson again, that's right into the top of the tape. All even at two. Pushed outside, Sorensen. Another kill. 21 kills for Abby Sorensen. It's an unofficial number, and she needed 24 to set the Class D2 single season record. Erickson had a chance there. Boxer was standing there alone with nobody at the net in front of her. Couldn't pound away at it, but it works anyway for the Titans. Even at three. Back and forth. Each team really. <laughs> Nobody's letting the string run. We've, we've seen a game of string so far. Everybody's staying very focused. Big swing. The freshman again, Skyler Erickson. The last half of this match, Skyler Erickson has been tough. She's up there. She's aggressive. Here again, she holds nothing back. Into the net goes Emily Majerus. So service error one apiece for each team here in the fifth. 4-4. Four, four. Great, Great tip. Job. Again, she set that up perfectly. She's been aggressive swinging. She came in hard with the approach just like she didn't. And then at the last second, change it. Nice tip shot. Great full approach to pull the triple block and tipped it right over him. 5-4 Titans. Push deep corner. Boxer goes outside. Tompkin. Tompkin tries the tip. Kept alive. Boxer again. Sets Sorensen in the back. Outside Erickson. Off the block. 
and a kill for the Titans. First two-point advantage here in set number five. So Julie Stadnicka will take a timeout. Her squad down by two in a deciding fifth set. And NET Sports and Husker Volleyball are now online. Just log on to netnebraska.org forward slash volleyball. There you'll find the complete broadcast schedule as well as highlights of past matches and Husker Volleyball features. Again, that's netnebraska.org forward slash volleyball where you'll find more than just the game. Pretty good looking new website put together there by the outstanding folks at NET. If you like Husker Volleyball, you definitely want to check out their new Husker Volleyball website. Well, it's been a great one for the fans and 6-4 Titans on top here in the fifth. And the ace. Ja Jamie Nikolai with the ace. A three-point advantage for the Titans. That's huge coming in out of that timeout, staying focused, getting that first one out of the timeout. And another and one. Two. <laughs> Passing has certainly been the issue for Clay Center. Back-to-back mm -hmm. -back aces and a four-point lead in a race to 15. Tonkin needs it big, can't get it down. Tip on the line, what a shot! Shelby Rother just gets it to fall on that line. Five-point lead for the Titans. Well, not only was that on the line, but there's a lot on the line coming up this week for Nebraska's best high school football teams. You can see all the action on NET television when NSAA Nebraska High School Football Championships are live from Memorial Stadium. November 23rd and 24th on NET1, and it's also in high definition on NET HD. Action in all the classes, so check your local listings or website for your time your favorite team at ET Television is Nebraska's home for sports. Nikolai to serve again after back-to-back -back aces. She served three straight points now. 9-4. Wildcats down by five. What a dump. <laughs> Skylar Erickson. So Erickson gets the kill, and they are five away and up by six. Huge advantage in a race to 15. And Clay Center says, that's what Wallace thought yesterday. Yes, I was going to say, it's not over. Back corner. Darian Erickson this time with a big swing, making that shot in that deep corner. She couldn't have landed it any per more perfect. You can see Abby Sorensen out there barking at her team just like yesterday. Tompkin into the net. Back into the game is Danielle Sock for play center. Out goes Brittany Vike. 12-4. Into the net. net called on the Titans. Point to the Wildcats, 12-5. Now, yesterday the score was 14-8. Wallace in the fifth. And Clay Center came all the way back, avoided seven match points, and went on to win the match in the fifth. Good swing by Skylar Erickson. Back row Sorensen into the net. She had the shot you want. Yep. 13-5. Off the top of the tape, and finally something to slow really well back is Sierra Tompkins' kill. 
Still just two away from the match for the Titans and a long way back for the Wildcats. But again, both teams know it's still not over. I mean, you know, Titans of anybody knows they don't have this in the bag yet. They're feeling very comfortable and confident, but they just went together and said, one more. We need one. Wallace said the same thing yesterday. Shelby Rather to serve for the match in the championship. And the dump by the Wildcats. 14-7 now. They came back from 14-8. Can they come back from 14-6? Sierra Tompkin to serve. Championship point. Outside, Sorensen. Good dig. Tip across, got it! The kill by Darian Erickson. Greeley Wabak, the Titans are the Titans of Class D2. They've come in the last two years, and in the second time, they take home the title. Hey, college doesn't just happen. There's a few things you need to do to find the school that's the right fit for you. Yeah, like thinking about your career interests and then researching colleges that fit those interests. And going to college fairs and talking with college representatives to visit your school. And most importantly, you should visit the schools that interest you. After all, you wouldn't buy a pair of shoes without trying them on first, would you? You're on vacation in the mountains. You've got the kids, the dog, and your tent. Your son says, hiking is lame, so you try rock climbing. It ends up being harder than it looks. Now you're in the hospital wishing you'd stayed home. But you've got Blue Cross and Blue Shield, so you know you're covered, even though you're out of state. So you relax, which is why you went on vacation in the first place. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska. One less thing to worry about. Coming Thanksgiving weekend, join Chef Brian O'Malley as he visits the kitchens of Nebraska cooks who share their all-time favorite family recipes and the stories behind them. Well, I first learned how to make this. It was for my grandpa's 90th birthday. I gotta tell you, Orlando, this looks spectacular. But I can tell you they're not good today. <laughs> All right, I'm excited for that. I'm yeah. excited for the face of, wow, oh. really? The Recipe Box on Sunday, November 29th at 7 p.m. Central on NET. Got the sheets? Uh. <laughs> we built it. <laughs> yes, we did. Adventure requires a trusted guide. Find yours at PBS. Welcome back to the Nebraska Coliseum. Greeley Wallback wins it in five, 15-7 in the final set. What a finish by the Lady Titans. Just, I mean, they had a five set comeback win yesterday to get to the finals and then to be here and again to fight it off is important. Now for the introductions of the runner up and the state champs, let's go down to our public address announcer, Steve Lemon. The Nebraska School Activities Association is delighted to have medals and trophies for both of these outstanding teams. Presentations will be made by NSAA Board of Control members, Dr. Dallas Watkins from Dundee County Stratton, Max Kroger from Ord, and U.S. Bank Representative Joan Ingram. Here are the awards for Class D2 runner-up Clay Center High School. Will head coach Julie Studnicka and your assistants please step toward the middle of the court to present the silver medals to each team member. Players, as your name is called, please come forward to receive your medal. Number one, Brooke Yates. 
Number two, Mary Cooney. Number three, Danielle Sock. Number four, Dylan Woodbury. Number five, Jill Buxa. Number six, Bethany Von Spreckelson. Number seven, Sierra Tompkin. Number eight, Ravon Hudson. Number nine, Jamie Boxa. Number 10, Abigail Sorensen. Number 12, Kylie Essing. Number 13, Brittany Vike. Number 14, Vanessa Ponder. And number 23, Brianna Bailey. All of you are welcome to receive the runner-up trophy for your school. Congratulations, Clay Center High School. And now to the champions. First head coach, Todd Beck, we have a special award for you. Now, coach, hand out the gold medals to your championship team members. Number one, Darian Erickson. Number two, Chassie Andrasek. Number three, Jamie Nikolai. Number zero, Hannah Smith. Number five, Ashley Dugan. Number six, Katrina Andrasek. Number seven, Skylar Erickson. Number eight, Kim Wood. Number nine, Krista Kolar. Number 10, Emily Majerus. Number 11, Shelby Rother. Shelby Rother, you did everything you needed to do. Number 12, Megan Strump. Megan Strump. Number 13, Caitlin Andrasek. Good work. And number 14, Mackenzie Cockerell. Mackenzie Cockerell. There you go. Good work. And now for these outstanding athletes in their school, here is the 2009 Class D2 State Volleyball Championship Trophy. Congratulations, Greeley Wolbeck High School. Well, congratulations to the Titans. They are state champs in Class D2, finishing out the season 33-1 and and taking home a state championship. We'll be back to wrap up the Class D2 state title here at the Coliseum on the campus of the University of Nebraska. Stay with us. You're watching NET1 and NET HD. I still picture it in my mind on Saturday, uh, up early, out in the pasture making fans. You'd have that AM radio blaring and Lyle Bremser would be calling the game. 
And you just have these pictures in your mind of, of what it would be like and how neat it would be to be able to participate in that. These are guys that somebody has determined they're not quite big enough, they're not quite fast enough. You know, why would you have walk-ons? The heart and soul of our team really came from the walk-on players. They want this program to win. They want this program to succeed because it's in their blood. How do you give those young men the opportunity, the, the exposure, the chance to, to live the dream? Follow the dreams and the story of a Nebraska tradition. Walk-ons, Huskers Edge. Coming in December to NET1. Nebraska Stories Online lets you find out more. Log on to netnebraska.org slash Nebraska Stories. Thanks to the personal investment of more than 1,800 Sports Partners Club members, NET will deliver over 200 hours of exciting sports action this year. Who else brings you Husker Volleyball, Big Red Wrap-Up, and all of the other outstanding college and high school sports action to every home in Nebraska? NET is Nebraska's home for sports, and sports partners like you make it happen. Log on to netnebraska.org slash sportspartners and explore the many benefits of joining the Sports Partners Club. They abused the land. They abused something terrible. They raped it. They got everything out they could. A disaster of epic proportions. You felt like you were surrounded. It would just close in on you, shut off all light. When I'd see one of these black clouds rolling in, I remember thinking, what did we do to cause this? Surviving the Dust Bowl on American Experience. Monday night at 8 Central Time on NET1. Welcome back to the Coliseum on the campus of the University of Nebraska. The class D2 championship now in the books. And really, I'll tell you what, really well back for a team who had only been to the state tournament twice in the history of its school. This was the first time they've ever been in a state championship volleyball match. And to come out and play the way they did and win it in five, they played very well. Played very well. And I think them going through that difficult, that great comeback in the semifinal game, mm -hmm. really their perseverance there brought them into this finals match feeling and believing they could do anything. And they did. They came out with the state championship. So they win it in the fifth, 15 to 7 over Clay Center. 25 19. They, lost, they won set number one, won, lost the next two, then won the final two sets. Well, Rachel standing by with the state champs. Rachel. Hey, Larry. Thank you. Um, I'm right here with Coach Todd Beck. And how are you feeling right now? I tell you what, I'm overwhelmed with uh, gratitude. I'm so happy that we were able to come down here and play some of these games. And, and the girls had success because uh, they worked hard all season and they deserve it. You're right, they did. That's one thing I noticed about your girls is they worked extremely hard on the court. What did you do to prepare them or how did you get them to do that? You know, um, from the start of the season, way back in May, they were already asking what kind of camps could we go to? What kind of things are we going to do this summer? Um, my assistant coaches from the weight room and the girls were in it all summer. Uh, they, they were ready to go to any camp I asked them to go to. Um, they do some club ball, but they're, they're athletes that really push themselves. And so that makes it so much easier on the coach. It does, doesn't it? And what was the key to that match, do you feel? Well, I, I, I think the big thing was defense, and I've said it all year long for us. Um, we have some good hitters, but our defense has um, outshined most other teams. And when we were picking up hits from um, the Sorensen girl and number seven and uh, taking it right back at them and being aggressive on our returns instead of just giving them a free ball back, uh, I think it, it changed the tides a little bit. Defense, that's what I like to hear. Well, congratulations, Coach, and thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. All right, now we're going to have Krista Kohler, number nine, coming in. Yeah. 
they're still they're still partying and a little bit of congratulations right now so if you could hold on just one second hi Krista how are you congratulations Krista is the team captain and a great leader on the court. So what do you do to get your team prepared for something like this? Um, we just go out and we have fun and we get we get told to keep a smile on our face and we do and we work as a team and we got in this far. We've always wanted it and I'm very proud of our team. It's just it's a great dream that we got. You guys played awesome and you know it could I could really tell that you guys really loved each other. Um, at the end of game one, you were the one that had the final kill, and all throughout the game, you passed extremely well. How do you stay composed in those pressure situations? I just got to say that I can, I have confidence. I got to believe in myself, and my teammates helped me stay up, and we just, we just got to work together. It's my senior year, and I'm just, I'm really glad this all happened. Yeah, your senior year. How does it feel to end like that? It's great. I've never had a only one loss, and we never went to stay, and I'm just so happy. Well, congratulations. You did great. Thank you. All right, our next um, person that we're going to hear from is Skylar Erickson, and she is a freshman this year, and she stepped up big for, us, for the team. He, okay, Skylar, you're a freshman. How did it feel your first year? Um, I was nervous coming in, especially starting, but I knew I had to help the team and stay strong and do my best. You didn't look nervous at all. No, I tried to hold it in and just keep my team up and stuff. Well, what did it mean to you to play at the Coliseum? It was amazing. I watch Nebraska volleyball all the time, and just to play here, it was an honor. Well, that's awesome. Congratulations to you, and thank you very much. All right, our next person that we're going to hear from is Ashley Dugan, who was a defensive specialist that came in and made some huge plays. Ashley, how are you feeling right now? Amazing. This is the greatest feeling in the world. You came in game four, and you had amazing digs that really changed the course of the game. What did you do to get yourself prepared for that? I just knew that I had to watch my hitter and make sure that I was lined up outside the block and that... We've been simulating this all the time in practice where I would go against the varsity. So I had confidence in myself and confidence in my teammates. Well, it really showed. And when you came in to serve, did you have any routine that kept your nerves down? Um, not really. I just try to make sure that I'm not freaking out too bad. Of course, right? Well, how are you feeling now? Like I said, this is the greatest feeling in the world. I've been dreaming about this since I was a little girl, growing up playing fifth and sixth grade volleyball with all of those girls. It's just been a dream come true. Well, you did awesome, and congratulations to you and your team. Thank you. Well, thanks very much, Rachel. Terrific job, and congratulations to the state champs, the Titans of Greeley Wallback. Terrific performance by not only the seniors and Krista Kolar and Emily Majerus, but Skylar Erickson in her freshman season to come out and perform like that in a state championship match. Double-digit kills, great effort. Well, the Titans knock off the Wildcats for the D2 State Championship. We'll be back and wrap it up. Programming provided by Nebraska Public Power District. Energy efficiency is important to us all. At Nebraska Public Power District, we're committed to helping everyone use less energy through new technologies like this compact fluorescent light bulb. Because when you reduce your energy costs, we all win. This message brought to you by the Nebraska Public Power District. Always there when you need us, together with your local public power utility. You're on vacation in the mountains. You've got the kids, the dog, and your tent. Your son says, hiking is lame, so you try rock climbing. It ends up being harder than it looks. Now you're in the hospital wishing you'd stayed home. But you've got Blue Cross and Blue Shield, so you know you're covered even though you're out of state. So you relax, which is why you went on vacation in the first place. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska. One less thing to worry about. Programming on NET television is made possible in part by U.S. Bank. The U.S. Bank Corp Foundation supports charitable, educational, and community service-oriented organizations in communities across Nebraska and the nation. U.S. Bank employees dedicate their time and efforts to local causes they are truly passionate about. U.S. Bank, 
Wherever you go, you'll find us. Soy biodiesel from Nebraska soybeans lowers our dependence on foreign oil. It has properties that reduce engine wear. And it burns without harmfully polluting the atmosphere. The Nebraska Soybean Board encourages the use of soy biodiesel. The 2009 season is here, and you can catch all the action both on and off the court on the Nebraska Volleyball Show. Join head coach John Cook as he breaks down highlights of every Husker game. Plus, meet this year's team with in-depth features you won't find anywhere else. You can catch it all on the Nebraska Volleyball Show. Monday night at 7 Central Time on NET2. Now you can see what's in Nebraska's recipe box. Go online, find additional recipes, read family stories, and watch extended video segments. Celebrate with us the culinary heritage of Nebraska at netnebraska.org slash recipe box. Welcome back to the Nebraska Coliseum. Class D2 state championship is in the books and the Greeley Wallback Titans knock off Clay Center. The Wildcats in five, 15-7 in the fifth set. Let's take a look at how it started because early on Clay Center looked pretty good. The Wildcats actually took the first, it took second and third sets and it was thanks to Sorensen's play. Abby Sorensen, she kind of was hot and cold at times, but really heated up and that's when the team played very well. And again, the team really worked hard. They were very diverse. Here you see Abby Sorensen again with the big kill. But um, overall, just couldn't um, push, quite finish it off. On the other side for the Titans, it was a dominating performance in the fourth and fifth especially sets. Krista Kohler here, you can see senior captain of the team is really important to her. They played their best and this was the outing. They had a tough match come, just getting to this finals. Um, Majerus was a major contributor to getting there. She did a great job and you see right there how poor she was, just, just business. As you look at the final stats again, the Titans really dominating on the offensive side. Play center though, their block was, uh, I guess, their bright spot. They really made an impact up at the net, being aggressive with a block. I also think the Titans served. They served well late in the match. They had eight aces versus the five for the Wildcats. Well, the stats may not indicate it, but it was certainly won by the Greeley Wallback Titans. So the Titans knock off Clay Center in five, 15 to seven in the fifth. You see the fans beginning to pour in for the Class A matchup, which is coming up next. We'll wrap up that Class D2 title and have the Class A matchup coming up on NET Sports. NPR News during the day and cool jazz at night on NET Radio's new channel, HD2. You can listen online anytime, anywhere, on our website, netnebraska.org slash radio. In the Lincoln area, you can also listen over the air using an HD radio. Find out more about this new jazz and news service from NET Radio on the web, netnebraska.org slash radio. Along with my partner, Adrian Fiala, I'm Kevin Kugler, inviting you to join us for Big Red Wrap-Up. Kevin will recap the Kansas-Nebraska game with sports writer, Husker historian, Mike Babcock. Join us next Tuesday for Big Red Wrap-Up right here on NET, Nebraska's home for sports. Hello, I'm Jeff Beckman. Sporting events are an important component of Nebraska's culture. That's why NET, Nebraska's home for sports, carries more than 200 hours of sports programs each year. 
We begin each fall with volleyball action and Big Red wrap-up. Then we cover Nebraska high school football and volleyball championships. In the winter and spring, we carry hockey and basketball along with Nebraska and Creighton baseball and more high school championships. We've delivered all of this action and more right into your living room for decades. And we plan to air your favorite sports for years to come. Now, in order to ensure that we continue this outstanding sports coverage, we need your financial assistance. Please consider joining the NET Sports Partners Club by logging onto this website or call our customer service line. For as little as $45, you can support NET Sports and choose from an assortment of very nice appreciation gifts. Log on now or call us to become a stakeholder in NET Sports. We owe everything to these soldiers and our old men, but they were young and dashing. So he does the only thing he can think of. He asked the townspeople of Neely to treat White Buffalo Girl, his daughter, as though she were one of theirs. Nebraska Stories, showcasing our state and the people who call themselves Nebraskans. at the Nebraska Coliseum begins to fill up for the Class A match coming up. Taking a look first at the D2 and wrapping up that it was Greeley Wall back in five over Clay Center 15-7. Congratulations to Todd Beck and his Titans. The first ever time they've been in a state championship match and they take home the title knocking off Clay Center. Just a great match for them. They came in here. They played strong and again battled back yesterday to get to this and then came through here played a solid match and get their first state championship. Congratulations to the communities. And just a reminder, a great one coming up as Omaha Marion, 41 and one on the season, takes on Papillion La Vista South, the Class A championship battle. Three Nebraska recruits in the game. We'll have that all coming up for you on NET.